Oh my oh, god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, Mike, yeah. Mike, let's go. Markham, Ontario is the fourth largest city in the greater Toronto area. Half of its 350,000 residents are Asian and mostly Chinese. It holds a lot of similarities to Richmond, Vancouver, the St. Gabriel Valley in LA, and Flushing, Queens. With that said, it was important to check it out on our most recent trip to Toronto. This is Mike and Sheldon from Canto Mando, and this is Karen, AKA Fruity Poppin'. They're Markham natives, and we're gonna be going around to the most iconic cheap food courts in the city. We start at the world famous Pacific Mall. Even Russell Peters talked about it in his viral stand-up comedy set years back. I went to this Chinese mall. Some of you may know it, Pacific Mall. That's the wrong place for an Indian guy to go. Hidden. Footwear gem, right? Yeah, this is actually a footwear they have, gem. They have all this like random super old sneakers, but they're mad cheap inside. Yeah, they still got Dwight and yeah. the Orlando gear. Yo! So this is where your parents go when you're young and you're like, you want ball shoes, but they don't want to spend it at the expense of Nike store, so they right. go here to today's sports where to get you the gear. So all right, guys, so we're here on the second floor. Second floor is where all the food is. But it's also where the most important thing is that arcade that no one ever goes to is. Yeah. yeah. I see a lot of little kids in there though. Oh, they're privileged. Oh, they're privileged, yeah. <laughs> want something quick, go here. If you want something like sit down and choose what you eat, go that side. Pacific Mall, this is the most famous mall in Markham. <laughs> Carrie, can you read Chinese? I know something. Sai. Sai. <laughs> Can I have a We're on the Canto Mall. Canto I'm with Canto Mando and Karen, who's also Canto. Oh, so the lady was complaining that if she puts it in the bag, that it'll steam and get soggy and it won't be crispy anymore. So, his veteran tactics, man. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay. 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 Right, wow. and, and it's definitely like the mixture of English in Canton, yeah. like the, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what would you call it? Can't glish. Can't English? English? Can't <laughs> can is big English. Let's keep it moving guys, let's go to the next spot. We have food here, and then just ladies doing nails <laughs> right here. Yeah, it's perfect man, you, you get your nails done, and you get, get, a, get a meal, your tattoos, and eat while you do it. This is a Beijing street food right here. Cold? Yeah, I've had this Grilled before. cold noodle. I've had this before. But nuddle. So this is where we go for like the curry fish balls, beef skewer, the beef internal skewers and stuff. Oh man, let's get some freaky stuff. This is Beifang's Wow! This is a This is a famous Beijing street food. Cow lang mian. This is rou jia mo. Rou jia mo. And then this, we have yang rou chuan. Okay. Okay. And okay. Chicken okay. skewer. I don't know how to say this. This is a. Chichuan, this is like cartilage, chicken cartilage. This is. This is Hong Kong this is an amazing snack. Yeah, but it's the very bomb. Eat hay is when you eat too many like fried, dry snacks, 
and like, you know, you're gonna get like pimples, like nosebleed and stuff. I to this day have no idea what it yeah, actually I means. Specific foods yeah. give you fiery. Fire. Yeah. There's more mainland people coming in, more Mandarin speakers. How do you guys feel about it? It's funny because I actually grew up thinking the majority Chinese in the world was Cantonese. Until high school, I didn't, I didn't know that China was like majority Mandarin speakers. I thought I was majority. I thought the yeah, exa exact yeah. opposite. Everyone around me would speak Mandarin. Really? Yeah. But I would speak Cantonese and I wouldn't really understand it. And I told my mom, and she's like, oh, that's why you need to go to Mando school. When I was growing up, because I'm the only Mandarin, right? And all my friends are Cantonese. I'm, yeah, because I'm like, you're Chinese, I'm Chinese, but I can't communicate with right, you. Right, right. You know what I mean? Chinese. Are we the same? Are we different? Same, same, but different. Same, same but different. Same, yeah. same, same, same but different. Same. Should, we, should we eat? Or should yeah. we eat? Cheers. I guess we're oh. cheers all our stuff. Oh. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Come on. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. The yeet, hey. Oh, it hit me hard. I feel it. You eat this, right? Oh, the exterior is 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 a, is a noodle. It's a noodle. Yeah, it's a noodle. Oh, that, it, that's oh. Cool. So this is a noodle. So it's a thick noodle. It's kind of like pasta. I don't like intestines though. This is Andrew's biggest it. fear. Your lip was quaking a little. I think I'm thinking about it too much. Okay, I want to set the record straight. People call this dish intestine, but it's actually the colon. This is like probably my favorite thing to eat. Really? Uh, it's not bad. I, I like the curry fish balls. It's not bad. Would you say this was chicken, chicken knuckle. knuckle? Chicken cartilage. You like it? It's good, it's good, it's good. You confirm I'm from the Xi'an. You are from Xi'an. The spice is totally on point. The meat will be a little bit better. I'm looking at this, I'm like, yo, why is it so small? These are small. These are tiny. Have you ever been to the streets in Xi'an? It's like a wooden okay. spear. And then you get like huge chunks of meat. This is the make your date fun kind of kind of food. Okay. Make your like, date oh, be like, oh, you never had this stuff? Oh yeah, Yo, you gotta try it, man. What's wrong? You gotta try it. You gotta try it. The guy gets this on the first date with you. Is he trying to? He's trying to test me. Uh, trying to test you. Like he thinks I can't handle it, but oh. you know, little did you know? Oh, I feel I feel kind of bad that we got all the weird Cantonese stuff. Cantonese food is not this weird all the time. Yeah. We get like we get like fake rice and stuff. Yeah. It's like eating a sponge. Right. So this is what they call a Chinese hamburger. They they chop up the meat, they mince it. Yeah. And that's pork. All oh. staring at Karen eat. Who from the south? Yo. All right, everybody, that wraps it up here at Pacific Mall, aka P Mall. And right now, we're gonna go to Sheldon's family's Macanese restaurant. Ooh. I like Macanese HK. Yo. P Mall doesn't look like your typical Westfield mall you'll find in America. It reminded me a lot more of something you'd find in Asia, but with more space. It's accessible, it's cheap, it's kind of random, and it's a cornerstone of so many people's childhoods. Okay, so our next stop here, we're at Kenny Noodles. Ken Kenny's noodle? Kenny's noodle. That was so Fabi. It's I said, so Fabi. I said <laughs> Kenny noodle. So no, it's it's Fabi because it's there's no S, it's a single noodle. It's just Kenny noodle. <laughs> Kenny, Kenny noodle. Kenny noodle. So it's his noodle. This is my family restaurant. And the funny part of this is that I have no idea who Kenny is. All Maybe right. they wanted to name you Kenny, but then Mama Sheldon said. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of easy to say if you can't Denise. Kenny. Oh, cool. Kenny. Yeah, Kenny. Yeah, Kenny. Yeah. Kenny's Kenny, a Kenny, why? Let's go check out Kenny's noodle. Angie is from Markham. Markham. Hello, hello. Is your from Second, Ottawa? Ottawa? Oh my God! Stop saying okay. that. I'm just kidding. You're from. Uh, Andrew probably. She's from the six. Did it's you go to Pacific Mall a lot growing up? When I was a kid, yeah. What, I used to be the what spot. are some of your fondest memories? Of? Fish balls. Ooh, <laughs> fish balls missed there. out. Mm -hmm. so Definitely so getting the fried pigeon right there. Ooh, pigeon is actually delicious. You guys have never really? had pigeon before? I've never, never had, had pigeon. Wait. We came here just to eat a pigeon, not a chicken? quail. So how did Somewhere you source them? Yeah. Yeah. Balcony? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Balcony? No, yeah, yeah. You guys got them from like a pigeon farm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, That's just... I just leave it as obviously, it. Obviously. Obviously. This is the most random thing I ever saw in my life. The lights. Wait, why are there the apple lights? Right? I know. What? I know. It's the apple lights. Ooh. Thank you. I'll get close okay. up. What's this? Oh, okay. Who's had it? Have you? Nope. You? Nope. I haven't. No. Nope. Oh, <laughs> You've never had this this year? <laughs> <laughs> this is a restaurant? Yeah, uh, I come here almost every single day. But I kind of order the same thing. I order the same, like, the same eight things every single time. <laughs> the egg yolk batter, oh, fried it's hot, pork chop. Guys, it's hot. Uh, <laughs> it's hot. What, what, what? Yeah. In Canto, I don't know what this one is called, but like if you coat it with egg yolk, it's called gamsa. They translate into English. It's like gold, gold, sand. gold sand. Oh. Mm. There's no bones at all. Yeah. That's why I like it. Yeah. That's the difference between white people and Asian yeah. people mm. is that there's white people love fillets. Yeah. 
picking bones is part of eating for Asian people. And I think also just historically, like, I mean, back then China was really poor, right? Yeah. And so you want every single part of the meat. You really, but that's you really need to eat, right? Because now Chinese people like wasting food. If you're super rich, what you do is that you end up ordering more just to show yeah. people that I'm rich and I can yeah. pay for everything. Right? It's like a flex. Yeah, it's a flex. Carrying the pigeon. Hold on, let me just. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Oh, oh Hawaii. <laughs> All right, pigeon. I've had quail before, by the way. I don't know. I eat food, but no, not a pigeon. All right, let me take a small piece of this meat. Oh, so pigeony. <laughs> is it actually? No, it's done. You know, pigeon is not a bird we usually eat in the States, but it's a lot more common in Canada. And yes, these do come from an actual pigeon farm. Which cooked very well. I'm a bigger fan of duck, though. You're a bigger fan of duck? You can taste the difference. Yeah. It's not bad though. Yeah, it's not bad. But it's less fatty. It's a lot more meaty. But it has it's that. Stronger. It has a strong Yeah, it has a strong taste to it. Right? I don't it know does. what it is. It's stronger than duck. Is, is that the gamey? <laughs> is that the gamey taste? All right, here we had the egg yolk, pork chops, and we had the pigeon. That was crazy. Yeah. Woo! Wow. I'm having too much fun with that. Yeah, yeah I you know. Know. No, I'm kind of excited. Yeah. I'm kind of excited. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my oh, god. Yeah. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, Mike, Mike, let's go. That was that was a little weird. It was a little <laughs> weird. I'm not like oh, oh. <laughs> Alright, so our next stop on the Markham Food Crawl is going to be FMP, which is first Markham Place Plaza. It is the most known food plaza in probably all of Markham. They even have a knockoff in Taifung. FMP. FMP. Egg yolk pork chops, roasted pigeon. These are all dishes I never had before. Chashu fun spots. You'll see long lines both these ones, and they're right next to each other. They do the exact same foods, but they've been competing for ages. Oh, That's why they need somebody in the middle, you know, yeah. so they don't have any fights and shit. And they got the yeah, Koreans. The yeah. Koreans are in the middle, being like, yeah. "Yo, neutral zone. Yeah, <laughs> this is the DMZ. We want to show off the food here at FMP, at the food court. So we're all gonna break off, grab one dish at the sure. potluck." And we'll have ourselves a feast. FMP, let's go. Oh, it works, it works, it works. FMP food court is actually really diverse. It's got everything from Thai, Lao, to Malaysian, to classic Cantonese, to Tianjin food. I definitely recommend it. We got the Sheng Jian Bao. Pan fried soup dumpling. Soup dumpling, not soup bao. This, this gobu li bao zi means dog, dog don't care bao zi. Dog don't care about it. All right, so we're about to get um, like a three topping rice from Extra BBQS. We already actually got one from there, but we're waiting on that one. So in Cantonese, it's called Sam Peng. So we're going to get that. There's a lot more of the uh, cereal. Here they give you the obligatory uh, vegetables. Yes. Here they don't, right? All meat. Let's start with the one that we're doubting the most. Okay. All right, That's so pick a piece of bar barbecue meat wars, the cereal cheers. wars. All right, cheers. 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 It's got that sweet. It's pretty good. It looks okay. The crispy pork looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, well, oh, oh, so oh, excited for oh, two Cheers. 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 As far as the chashu goes, it's a close one. Yeah. I gotta go with the first one actually. I, I'm gonna go yeah. with the first one too. I gotta go with the first one. Okay. Alright, I gotta try the duck. So on the roast duck, I gotta give it to the yellow spot. But actually, surprisingly, the chashu, I gotta give it to the yeah. white spot. Agreed, agreed. Okay, agreed. Agreed. Crispy pork. Crispy pork. I like this yeah. one. Okay, yellow. the yellow spot. Like Alright. So actually pork. the chashu here is actually kinda dry. It is yeah, dry. Yeah, I'm not feeling dry. It. And then you have Jajang Man Northern Style. So Cantonese Northern style, style. J 
cha jeong mean, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like red. Exactly. And it's kind of like it's sweet and sour though. When I went to Beijing, yeah. not even that many restaurants served jiajang mean. I really saw it in the hutongs. It's a very traditional classic taste. There's not too much of an urban twist on it, mm. but it's just very like whole, home food. Silent Jin Bao, which is pan fried soup dumpling. We got the Shenzhen <laughs> Bizzies. I think like the texture of the. What? Isn't crispy. Like the skin isn't that crispy oh. and it's kind of thick. This is a northern. Um, what do you say, Bing? It's, a, it's called a Tianjin Shao Bing. Doesn't oh, no. have anything in it. Whoa. It's really oh, just a flaky oh. bread. This, I think you're supposed to eat it with something. Like dip it in something? Yeah. It's a little dry, <laughs> like, like, you know, like... And then this one's the Shen Bing. This is a Beijing Shen. meat pie. Ooh. Is it juicy? Mm. Oh, is it good? Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck, I'm grabbing yo, that yo, one. Yo, yo, yeah, someone grab that. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. It's amazing. Really? Yes. Are you like really? it? I want to try that with the Angie, any uh, take, no. take on the Shenzhen Bao? This is good. I like Hot it. takes. I like it. I think it's crispy enough. I like, I like the mix between the soup right. and the crispiness. Ha Chen, which is like... Rice shrimp, noodle. rice noodle roll thing. You can tell it's fresh because of how like squiggly it is. Yeah. You know, it, when it's like rolled too perfectly, I almost tend to feel like it's not okay. gonna be that good. Like yeah. it's just too thick. But you kind of see how thin the noodles are. This is a Lao sausage, it's really good. This, this reminds me, it's, it's, it's like no other sausage I've had before. It's, 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 it's kind of like a pie, but like a pie in a sausage format. Mm. It tastes like a vegetarian oh. burger. Oh. Yeah, oh. it doesn't really oh, taste I, like sausage. Yo, this is crazy. I didn't think a Lao sausage. Mm. Wow. <laughs> so this is actually a Lao dish. This is Nam Kao's dish. It's a uh, has crispy rice and like a meat mixture. Nam Kao. That's good. Oh, good. Wow. That is good. Wait, is it's it? like a sweet and sour soup in rice form. That is a Taiwanese sesame oil chicken okay, rice wine soup. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna try this uh, sesame oil chicken soup. That's really good. Oh. You know how that's good? Because the lady who was selling it to me was a little old Taiwanese lady. Oh. It's a little bit oily, but it's a little very bit rich. What well, has the sesame oil on top? Yeah, that's very, very rich. rich. I rate You're it. Just Cured. The oil. Everything. Oh, I just got a mouthful of oil. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Take, 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 take. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm trying it. Mm, this has more vegetable taste. So, what was your guys' favorite? Oh, I gotta give it up to either the Tianjin food or the Laos food, actually. Yeah. These are really good. Hey, mm -hmm. the Southeast Asian and the North, yeah. Northern Chinese, essentially. I say this is this is something I've never tasted before, and it's just so unique. And I gotta get up for the Lao food. Mm -hmm. I think wow. I like that. Yeah. Wow, everybody's on the Shambing. Yeah, yeah it's it's really good. Okay. Yeah. Lena? I like the crispy pork. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's cool. It's good. These two. The Nam Cow. The Nam Cow. Nam Cow. Yeah. Do you think it's funny how sometimes you grow up in a community, but like you don't kind of explore the community, so you just yeah, go to yeah. the things that are comfortable? That's why it's always fun to explore your town with someone else. Yeah. Because then you hit the spots that you would never normally hit, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Alright, so this FMP is where we used to always hang out in high school. But now there's a new spot in town. It's called Downtown Markham. And we're gonna go to the next the new spot in town. Everyone's there, so let's check it out, alright? Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> so this tour was mostly based on food courts, but later that night we did go to the most famous restaurant in probably all of Markham. It's the Fisherman Lobster Clubhouse. They're known for stacking their huge main lobster and crab towers super, super high, and is definitely nothing like I've seen in the States. To me, the lobster was worth it though. All right, so we have made it to our last destination, which is downtown Markham. And downtown Markham is not what I typically think of as a downtown. Yeah. It's just like really new stuff. This is built within like, I think three years ago, less than five years old. They're moving the Cineplex from FMP where we were at, down here. Ah, so, now this is so FMP here. got an upgrade. So before this, there was no central spot. It was FMP before, but there was no downtown before this. Now there's a new downtown. So they're building up all these houses and like different like yeah. townhouses around this area. And yeah, like they even got the school, university, York University. They just flopped on that, they flopped on that. It, so is it for the rich mainland fog? It is, it is. Kind of? It, it, it is. 100%. It kind of is, it kind of is. yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, like it's, I mean think about it, okay, though, it's, a, it's a VIP cinema. So there's yeah. a VIP booth, <laughs> VIP area, VIP seating. And even the places around it, the condos are like super high rise, yeah. luxury. So this is totally well, different, different. Who would want to pay that much to live in Markham? It's probably like a rich fob. I'm assuming. It, it exactly. is. Yeah. Are you guys integrating with the fobs now? There's still a little bit of a gap, I guess. Yeah. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So 
so in university you get to kind of mature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like now, not really. Growing up, growing up in high school, not so much. It was kind of this separation gap. Yeah. But in university, you can kind of bridges. Yeah. So you gotta get you, to, you, get, you make together. you make more friends and party together and stuff. So There's that's true. Have, Partying together will yeah. help blur the line. Mild language barrier as well. Yeah. Party. And also, they like to stick in their own circle, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Like. Let's let's say let's say I got a Lamborghini, you got a Lamborghini, and he's driving a Toyota. Like, yeah, you know no. what I mean? Like, I'm, not, I'm not part of Team Supercar. Right? No, so, you can. So Supercar crew, yeah. It's very hard to relate when you don't got money. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the hard thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. if you hopped out of a supercar, can I flip that again? All right, if this was if this was a uh, yeah, Vetmont instead, maybe. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Yo, that's your car. Yo, that's your car right there. That's your car, right? Bye, 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 bye. Lucas Bakery, very good Hong Kong bakery. Okay. They have really good pineapple buns, so definitely check that out. Oh, really? She's a fan. Yeah. Go for tea, for example, is like a really big oh, Chinese restaurant menu. It's like a late night chill spot. Go for yeah. tea, like go late night grab a bubble tea, hang out. Hey, you want to go for tea? Yeah. <laughs> we love Markham. Thank you for coming. We oh, appreciate no, yeah. that so much. Oh, thank you for showing me around. And we like to give you the Markham Pass. He's like, now you're, yeah, you get the Markham pass. You're in a, you're I get a, a, yeah, you're a Markham man. Markham man. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You're an official Markham man. You're an official Markham man. You're an official Markham man. Yeah. He's in the city. He's in the city. He's in the city. Yeah, he's in the city. 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 He's we got Sheldon, we got Mike, we got Angie, we got Lena, and shout out to Fruity Papa, aka Karen, also a Markin native. Mark, also a Markin. Markin. MK. Mark Keys are both. Keys are both. Keys are both. Keys are both. Okay, MK. Kid, you guys need a nickname. There's no nickname for Markham, right? Uh, 905. 905. 905. 905. We're the 905. Why? Uh, 905. Why? Because that's our area code, code 905. Yeah. And that's Markham. And right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. In the comments below, let us know any other like ethnic or Asian neighborhoods around North America that we should check out. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that Markham food tour in the greater Toronto area. Until next time, we out. Peace. So my major takeaway about Markham is that the area is huge. It's very spread out. It has a ton of amazing food and the area is changing every day. It's one of the other huge Chinese enclaves in North America. Like I said, along with the SGV, Flushing Queens, and of course, Vancouver, BC. I will be back again soon. Oh, it has to be flat. So yeah, you gotta lean back. The Wait, what oh. do we do with our oh. hair? Like, oh, like, like this. Probably like this, bro. <laughs> Ayo, what's do up? Just finish like filming with these, with these yeah, Asian squatters. Like what's up? What's up? Hey, we're out in Markham. Markham, the 905.